Hi everybody and welcome to the Science of Getting Rich seminar by Mike Krem. And in this seminar I'm going to share the same principles that were shared with me by my mentors, Bob Proctor, Sandy Gallagher and many more, but they were the main one, when I visited the seminar The Science of Getting Rich by Bob Proctor. We're going to talk about the principles of success in the service industry. So if you're in the service industry, uh, I recommend sitting down, piece of paper, and paying attention. So think about how can I use what I'm listening here and now to make sure that I can use it starting now, tomorrow, to improve my ability to make more money. Okay, so The Science of Getting Rich is a book that was written by Wallace D. Wattles and was the inspiration for Rhonda Burns to make the movie The Secret. But the problem with The Secret was this. It talked about the law of attraction more than it talked about the law of vibration. The law of vibration is what sets the law of attraction. So the whole movie was on the law of attraction, which is a secondary law to the law of vibration. So you cannot become rich by the law of attraction. You can attract the riches to you, but you have to get in the vibration of riches because without you matching the frequency of the vibration of riches, the attraction will not happen. Okay, so it's not about just thinking about what you want. It's feeling and holding that feeling with grace and gratitude to God that it's already happened and indulging in the pleasantness of the wish fulfilled that will attract it to you. Once you start attracting, guidance will start to come from within you. And it will be your intuition, because once you get in alignment with the sort of frequency, whatever the frequency that you're seeking for is, you start attracting it. But first you got to get emotionally involved with it. Thoughts are the language of the mind. Feelings are the language of the body. When you get them in harmony, your thoughts and your feelings, you start to attract because thoughts are the electrical charge in the brain and feelings are the electromagnetic charge that happens from the electricity in your brain that sends the body in vibration to send the electromagnetic signal out of you to start attracting that signal, that frequency, and you have to show up prepared. And this is what we're going to talk about. How do I prepare myself to become worthy? Because you can think about making more money, but if you don't have a bank account, an EIN, and a Stripe account, or some arrangement to make sure that people can give you the money by charging, swipe, and sending, that money will not show up in your account. So, of course, there's the doing. So, there's the thoughts, feelings, actions of setting up the fundamentals of industry to make sure that the money will show up in your bank account for you to use, to keep improving yourself so you can make more money. So, let's move on. So, from the book, the number one law for making more money in the service industry is the law of increase. Making sure you leave everyone with the impression of increase. Anyone that is and coming into contact with you, if he, she, they get more life out of you, more of what they came to you, you will not lack customers. If your business, if you as a service provider do your service 
at the best possible way and give more than what you were paid for. Give more than what you were paid for. Then you practice the law of increase. Once you increase something, that increase must in return come back to you. So the number one law is the law of increase. More. Always give more than you are paid for and that's the easiest thing to do. Now how we get to the point that we're able to give more. Start with one basic notion. Whatever you are providing service or product, make it better. Make yourself better. Make sure that whatever it is that you're giving, you're making sure that today you're doing it better than yesterday. If you keep on proving, improving your ability to deliver the service that you're providing, you will not lack clients. And I promise you it works. I started practicing it about uh, six years ago and I got so overwhelmed with the process and I got so many clients. Somebody came and told me this, Mike, if you're over booked with your service, there's two options. It's whether you're too cheap or too good. And in both cases, you have to increase your price. If you're overbooked because you start giving more service, better service, and you got overbooked, Two things, you're too cheap or too good. In both cases, you're gonna go up. That's the way it is. When you start investing in giving by improving yourself, your value in the marketplace is gonna go up. And of course, I coach on this. I'll show you the how. And with time, you'll get better, you'll make more money. It was shown to me programs, coaching programs, self-development programs, show you what needs to be done in your area of specialty or field to make sure that you become better on a daily basis, give it a year to see what happens. If you were here last week when I uh, talked about uh, the principles of life, there's uh, one thing that I'm gonna repeat again today so you can uh, listen to this. Tell the truth or don't lie. See what happens. Give the best that you can every day and make sure you're better every day. Give it a year or two. See what happens. Trust me, those principles are pragmatical. They cannot fail. They were proven over the ages. What you get in here, if you sit down and think about ways, how can I improve? the service by educating myself, improving my ability, improving the tools that I use, improving every aspect of me, and you're in the service industry, improving my ability to communicate on what I do and why I do it, I promise you, you will get to the point that whether you'll be too overbooked because you're too good or too cheap and your value will go up. There is no left or right from the number one law, the law of increase. You increase yourself, you increase your value, you increase what you give, the money that comes back increases point. There is no left or right from this. Okay, now we're going to go and talk about a little bit more about the laws of success. Now, the law of cause and effect is exactly in the law of increase. You are causing the increase in you and it will cause the increase for you for what you get in return. 
What you give must come back. If you give the best, the best must come back to you. If you give more, more comes back to you. And on the other side, if you give less, less comes back. If you're the same as yesterday, less comes back. If you're not improving yourself, less comes back. And you end up being less. There is no left or right from here. Okay? Now, the law of mind. Right? Because you will require your mind to convince yourself after a long day of work, you have kids, you have obligations. How do I make more time to improve myself in all this mess? So, thought objectify themselves. In other words, you become what you think about every day. So, if you start thinking about where can I make some space to improve myself, and instead of resting, when you got the night to do it properly, you start giving yourself a few minutes that you learn something that you didn't know about what you do. With all the mess, with all the obligations that you got, you start thinking about where in my day I can devote some time to think about how I'm performing. Where can I improve it? Who told me what that I should improve on myself? You start using your mind, seeing yourself, giving better, being better. Start thinking about how when you invest and learn something, you make the one that you serve happier. How it makes them better. You start engaging in the law of increase for yourself with your mind. It will start changing your body. You'll start vibrating in a different reality. And hope, just like magic, one day you find yourself sitting and learning more. But you have to start. You have to start here. How can I? If you tell to yourself, oh, I have all these, all these, all these, and I don't have the time to do it. Look at all the obligations. I need to find some rest. And it's piling up. Then you're in chaos. So order is heaven first law. Start creating order with the day. Rest as much as you need at night. And you know that I also teach how to gain restfulness and pleasantness when you go to sleep, when I coach people. Because that shortens the time that you need to charge yourself. But always make sure you have time to improve yourself by start thinking about where can I? How can I? Change the questions you ask yourself. Change what you tell yourself. Change your life. If you keep telling yourself, I don't have the time, I can't, I'm too busy, I don't have, I don't have, you won't have. You won't have anything because you're preventing yourself from having more for yourself. That's how simple it is. Okay? So there's no lack of time. There's lack of the right questions. How to make the time. Okay? Uh, the law of mental equivalency. Create in your mind an accurate mental equivalent of exactly what you want to see in your life. Remember I told? Start getting emotionally attached to it. That you are improving yourself. You are asking the right questions. The answers will come show up. You will find the time. You will improve yourself. You will increase. You will get increase back. Okay? Now, the... Law of expectation. Uh, you have to expect the best. And you have to expect the best from yourself. That's where it starts. If you're not expecting the best from yourself, for yourself, and for what you do, you allow yourself to downgrade yourself because you have no expectations from yourself. If you have nothing that excites you to follow, to become, then you will allow yourself to sit down and do nothing because you have no expectations from yourself um, or, or you're depending on others. But the, the law of uh, uh, self-resilience is another law. You have to motivate yourself. You have to become the best motivator of yourself. That's how simple it is. Okay, now there's a lot of methods. One of them that I want to recommend is GTD. GTD is the getting things done, the art of stress-free productivity. 
and I teach getting things done with ease from the heart. So when we get in a coaching program, I show you a couple of things, but I also teach you how to fall in love with your future self that is doing more and receiving more. Because it, my bottom line of research and going through this process for the last 10 years is everything got to come from here. Because if you do it from here and you fuse it with love, don't worry, it happens. So I give the shortcut. Okay, excellent. Now I'm going to uh, keep talking about the law of uh, abundance, which I think is a very important law. Sometimes we see others moving ahead of us and they might do it in ways that are logical, legal or not. We shouldn't get upset about their progress. You don't know the price they're paying to move ahead. The only comparison that everyone in the service industry must have is the comparison to self from yesterday. Am I better than yesterday? What am I gonna do today to become better tomorrow and keep this process going on an endless basis forever and ever because life doesn't end and your ability to provide from yourself or other doesn't. So the law of abundance is nobody is taking the space that you can occupy. Nobody. Because nobody has what you have. Nobody is going to receive what you're going to receive if you act on improving yourself. So it doesn't matter how much success anybody achieves. Don't ever get jealous or never hold resentment because everybody is their own process. All you have to do is get involved in your process and your day shall come by law. You cannot keep giving without one day receiving. And if you keep the law of abundance one day, tra -la, everything in your life shows up. And then it accelerates. It's like a snowball. It gets momentum. The beautiful thing, if you find out that you're going in the wrong direction, it's not what you thought you wanted, you already accumulated the capital to change direction and you're already in movement. Much better than no movement. Thinking about how doing the same as yesterday, repeating like a rat trap. Today I'm going to do the same thing as yesterday, hoping I'm going to make a little bit more money, it's going to get better. No, if you don't have a money plan, money will not show up. And money is nothing more than a reward for service rendered. So if you improve your service, the value, the law of increase comes to you and you will get more money. When you have enough more money, you can increase yourself. And if you find out that you want to change, you have the confidence that you can because you already achieved something. Success builds like Lego, one on each other. One success leads to another success. If you're not moving in any direction, well, you better start. Okay? Um, now, let's talk about the laws of money because money is the reward for service render, right? So, if there's laws governing this service render so I can make more money, uh, then I need to know them so I can use them, so I can grow. So the law of abundance, you know, there's, there's enough money for everybody. Just in the United States by itself, there's $30 trillion revolving, looking for hands to reach and grab some. How you join? You circulate money. You invest, you get better, you service better, money comes back to you. All fortune begins with service, and all service increases by the law of increase and by you increasing yourself. It's a circle that if you get into it, you will grow. If you're just repeating the same thing over and over every day, and you're not heading up, you're going down. Because change 
is inevitable and it's happening regardless to you. It's whether you catch up or find yourself lagging behind. Now, the law of exchange. Money is a medium through which people exchange their production of goods and services to others. That's it. Look around. The only other way is by theft. And you don't want to be part of it. And scamming people. You don't want to be that because what you give comes back. You steal, it will be stolen from you. You scam, you'll be scammed. There is no way around it. If not now. If not this life, we have another one. I, su I suggest that everybody law, uh, find out a little bit about the law of karmic evolution. That's why I posted that I'm against transgenders, gay, lesbians. It's not that I'm against, I have, I have a lot of good friends over there. But if you learn the law of karmic evolution, you, you understand that nature doesn't make mistakes. And it brought you here as a female or male to resolve your karmic evolution. And if you study it, you, you, you'll understand what you need to do. Your emotions and feelings do not matter unless they're in alignment with God, with the natural laws of the universe, whatever you want to call it. Potato, potata. Okay, but that was a little remark off, okay? Uh, the law of capital. Your most valuable asset in terms of cash flow is your physical and mental capital. Your earning ability is straight with alignment with your mental ability to see yourself giving more. You understand? That's all it is. That's all it is. You have to exchange your mental for seeing yourself as the person who gives more, who gets more, and that's the law of exchange. If you start seeing yourself as the person that can become better for the one he services, you'll start attracting more clients who are looking for better services. And if you gain the reputation, you're not gonna lack clients. And you'll gain capital, and you'll be able to service more and get more, and it all starts with the number one law, the law of increase. Increase yourself, increase your abilities, increase the amount of people that you service, you'll get more money. There's no way around it, okay? Uh, the other one is the law of perspective. The most successful people in any society are those who take the longest time period into consideration when making their day-to-day -day decisions, which make observe yourself. Be perspective about how you spend the day and where and what you can do better to make sure you're increasing yourself. Okay, so if you put your time into perspectives and you analyze where am I doing things that are not productive to my enrollment. And unfortunately today, scrolling on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram and all this bullshit, seeing other people doing well or living or this or that is not contributing to your growth. The same amount of time you scroll on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, you limit to five minutes because usually it will be easily 34 minutes lost scrolling. No problem. You love the phone, hold it. Scroll five minutes, change. Articles, YouTube, lectures, TEDx, uh, Gaia. I mean, there's so many channels on your phone that you can learn something about yourself, your service, what you do, how can I improve myself. And instead of scrolling on social media nonsense, arguing with people you don't know or consider or never seen, or giving away your life, your time, your minutes to something that doesn't give you anything in return. It's a complete waste of time. You scroll and you read something that makes you better. You watch a YouTube video on what you do and how to get it better. Or you listen to doctors and scientists or people who are great in your industry, their stories, what did they do? Then you're exchanging the same amount of time holding the phone, but now the phone becomes something that is useful. So this little device that everybody has, you can do this 
and give likes to tits ass on Instagram and bullshit and, and, and nonsense and, can, and get into arguments with people you don't know about things that are not going to improve you. Or you can sit with the same phone and replace the time you put things into perspective. The same amount of time, but now I'm changing my perception on what can I get in return from this device. And I'm not scrolling, giving likes to tits, tits and ass on Instagram, encouraging this disgraceful behavior that I posted uh, on my story. And I made fun of a couple of girls that got on our boat to, to shoot their Instagram videos on things that are not theirs. And I'm sorry, girls, we don't treat you with respect. And I'm sorry, that's the way it is. But you allow yourself to disgrace yourself for a moment on Instagram. Oh, look, I'm on the boat. It's not even yours. And then we'll replace you with some others. But that's Instagram, Facebook, TikTok nonsense. So you can be part of that nonsense or you can go to work on owning the boat that other girls do TikTok videos on your boat. It's like happened yesterday, check out my story, it's probably disappeared. So perspective, change your perception on what you do with this thing and make it more valuable. And I'm going to ask you to exchange it for a book because you're probably not there. God knows when was the last time you read a book, you understand? But we are all on this device and we can listen, watch, learn from these instead of waste our time. Perspective. Change the time that you're on your phone from scrolling and wasting to learning. You'll get up with more knowledge. You'll be able to go to work tomorrow, provide better service more, and it's the same amount of time that you spend on this thing. It's just the perception in your head about what can be done with this is now changed to increase you so you can increase yourself so you can get more in return. That's how simple it is. Don't live to impress the Jonas with what you don't have. You know, the stupidity that I see in the world is on the rise, but it doesn't have to be. You can step out of this stupidity and invest in yourself. Okay, uh, the law of saving. The law of saving is changing a little bit. Once you start improving yourself and you start making more money, you need to understand that you need to put a little bit of money aside and once you reach a certain point, you need to start making more money with that money. So what you start looking, and thank God this is where I am today. Uh, I saw the post on how many businesses I own today. I was like, how did I get to it? You know, nine years ago, no, 11 years ago, uh, I, I didn't have $100. I, I made it, I flung down again, went back to zero, was eating tuna from a, from a shitty car filled with cockroaches sleeping in the car because I didn't have money. And five years later, I'm in, I'm in the millions again. Why? Because I, I, I keep the principles. Now, it's not that I lost everything the second time. I gave it away and started from zero. But I, I was okay with it because I knew the laws. I knew the laws that I used to get myself from not having any money to over $5 million, giving it all away. So I didn't lose it. I gave it to my kids, to my ex when I left the house. It's still theirs. I still have it. And five years later, I'm at the same point again. How? And that's what I'm sharing here. So if I was you, I'd pay attention. Because if you do, five years from now, you can be a millionaire. Seven maximum if you're slow. And I'm slow, but I just learned to do these principles that I'm sharing. Once you start making more money, you start investing it. Not every investment is going to be one that's going to be worth value. And sometimes you're going to lose, but don't ever stop. The number one law after the law of increase, when you start making more money, is what to do with the money. And what you do with the money is basically you start looking for multiple sources of income. Things that you can put your money to go to work for you, which are not dependent on you. So you can make money when you sleep. Today, I make money when I sleep. And the first thing I see when I open my phone is how much money I made 
sleeping. Because when I started making more capital by increasing my ability to service better, and the money came in, I started putting it. Sometimes I lost, sometimes I won. But today, I have so many sources of income, and they keep growing, but that's the law of increase. I told you, it's a snowball. And once you do it one, two, three, four, five times, you become a master. And you know what needs to be done. You know you're going to lose. You know you're going to win. But you know in the end, you're going to have more. And that's how simple it is. Guys, making money, getting rich is the most simple thing in the world. And it all starts with investing in yourself. There's no other place. You have to become valuable. And the only way to increase your value is by increasing yourself and your ability to provide better service or product. That's the law of money. Money is a reward for good service rendered or good product. That's all money is. In my bedroom, I have a, a, on my wall with $100 bills stuck on the wall. And I don't know if you saw it. First, money. Now, somebody walking into my bedroom and seeing first money with $100 bills might say, this guy only thinks about money. But if you understand that money is the reward for servicing others, then the perception, once again, perspective changes. First, the reward for servicing others. The end result of it, of money. So the first thing I do when I wake up is how can I present a better version of myself today to those who I service? How do I do that? Yesterday I learned something about what I do, and today I'm going to practice it so I become more valuable to my clients. They recommend me to others and I get more clients and I get more money. I take that money and I circulate it so it can keep growing because money is looking for a good place to be and it doesn't like to be in your bank account or dark places. Money in your bank account in today's economy loses 8% of inflation every day and the bank only pays you about 1%. So you lose an average of 7% every day. Every day that you have money in the bank, not invested, you can buy less. A million dollar in today's value is almost nothing. You need about $3 million to have the same value of things you can purchase with 1 million about seven years ago. So if you have a million dollars in the bank, today you can buy what you could, uh, let's say, and you didn't invest it, today it's worth about 300,000, the same million dollars, because you lost. You lost the value of what you could buy. Things went up, everything went up, money goes down. The only way money goes up, if you keep circulating it, so you can keep making more. Okay, so that's the law of money. Uh, the law of conversation. Uh, it's not how much you make, but how much you keep that will uh, determine your financial future. So make sure that whatever goes out when you start investing is always coming back more. Find the formula, the way that money goes out, and if it comes back, comes back 1.2, 1.5, 1.3, 2, 3 times more, 5 times more. Analyze the process of what happened from the point you released the money to the point you came back and increase it and keep repeating it. Increase, repeat, increase, repeat, and you'll start making more money with the money that you start uh, uh, making. Okay, the law of three. There are three legs to the stool of freedom. Savings, insurance and investment. So saving and investment go hand in hand. Insurance is I have $3 million worth of insurance on my life. Anything happens to me, you know, my future generations will be uh, safe. Uh, so make sure that uh, whatever you do with the money, even if you stop, your future generations are safe. So I have $3 million life insurance. I have investments. 
and I have sources of income. Now I can pretend to this, which is my passion, is sharing this information that I used once unconsciously and twice consciously. And I want to share it with you because anybody can get rich. Anybody. I want to, I want to read a quote from The Science of Getting Rich that, uh, <laughs> that, that is just like... Uh, so important. It says here that anybody can get rich. And if we look around, it says that stupid people get rich, smart people get rich. Fat people get rich, skinny people get rich. Good people get rich, evil people get rich. It doesn't matter what you are. What matter is what you do. Now, of course, you can get rich in selling drugs. Pablo Escobar, you can get rich in music, entertainment, football, sports, science, teaching. Anybody can get rich. So it's easy. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. And the how was described so far in those videos. Okay, now, I hope you wrote them down and you're going to act on them. Because really, those are the laws. Uh, that, uh. Now, once you start accumulating money, you got to attain it to a purpose. And that purpose got to be something bigger than your life right now. Because if you start making a lot of money and it's not attained to a big purpose, a life purpose, what happens is that money gets you to become stupid. I know for a fact. You start doing all the things that you don't want to find yourself in. They're very addictive but they're very empty emotionally. So to make sure that money doesn't empty you emotionally, make sure you give your life a purpose and you start using that money to fulfill that purpose. Because we all know all the millionaires, billionaires, that have all the money and everything that they want and commit suicide, get addicted to drugs, or just miserable. The reason is, once you start your purpose with making more money, you should give a bigger purpose to your life, what to do with that money. That's when fulfillment comes. The true prerequisite for happiness is growth. And once you have the growth, contribution. You contribute from yourself, from your money to make other people's life better. And that's when happiness and true success takes place. If you don't do that, you end up like the millions of multimillionaires and billionaires that are seemingly happy living the life that you think you want, but I promise you, they're miserable. Okay? Unless you give your life a purpose and meaning, money can make you very miserable. So make sure when you practice and you make those monies, because by law you will make more money if you follow those principles that I shared with you. Over time, I promise you, if you don't have a purpose to your life, then what you want to do. You will get to the point that you're bored out of your mind and you start doing shit and it's not going to end up well. I know for a fact I did it twice. Okay? So purpose. Enrichment. Enrichment is basically uh, the law of increase. Now, courage. Courage. Self-belief. Stop doubting yourself that you're not good enough. I had to overcome it myself. At one point, I start speaking about what I do to, to doctors and professors and people that are more knowledgeable than me. But I attained to the law of increase and I got myself educated to the point that I knew things that nobody in the industry of what I was servicing knew and I made quite a reputation for myself, and that increased. So, courage. Don't be afraid to understand that if you invest in yourself, your self-value goes up. Your self-confidence needs to follow. You're good enough to be everything that you want to be. Because if you want to be more, there's a desire. Desire is a possibility looking for expression. If you desire something, you have it in you. So go after it. Lose the fear that you are worthy. 
declare. If you know my story, I start declaring, I'm the best there is. And I wasn't at that point. But I made sure that I stepped up to it by increasing me until the point that I am the best was second to none. And I'm doing the same in the coaching and self-development and public speaking. I am the best. If you're looking for a coach that will take you from where you are to where you want to be, I come with Bob Proctor and Sandy Gallagher and the best programs in the world. And I am the best of making you understand what you're going to go through, how you're going to go through to make sure you become your best version of yourself. We'll make more money, we'll find purpose, we'll become healthier, happier. That's what I do. And I am the best there is in the world today. Tony Robbins, thank you for what you did until today. I'll take it from here. That's how good I am. And I'm not playing around. I will give you whatever you ask me. If you write it down on paper, I'll show you how to get it. Bob Proctor told it to me proved it to me and I'm going to use the same method that he's been using for 60 years to make sure that you'll write down what you want. I'll make you go and think about it. I will encourage you to take it from the heart so you'll never do mistakes and I will give you all the tools, all the experiences and all the knowledge from the ages, from thousands of books, thousands of mistakes, millions of people that got rich on this. And what I'm doing basically is I'm inviting you to get in touch with me so I can give you more money, more happiness, more health, more life. If I increase the life in you, the life in me will increase. So I encourage you, get in touch with me. Somewhere here there's going to be a button to book a call or get in touch. I want to show you I want to increase the life in you, and I know how. Write down those principles that I went through, practice, practice them, see what happens. You want to increase it, you want to make it faster, there's programs, I leave the link here, we do marketing, we do training, staff training, owner training, to make sure that your business, your service, you, will increase. When you increase, the increase comes back to you. So if you want increase in your life, let me give it to you. Contact me. Let's make things better together. You're not alone. You don't have to do things alone. The fear that I had is how I'm going to do it. Don't be afraid. I can show you how. Tell me what you want. I'll show you how to get it. Guaranteed. Mike Krenn, Proctor Gallagher Institute Consultant, inviting you to get in touch so we can increase together. Peace and love. Thank you everybody for, and I hope to see you next week when we're going to talk about health. Every week I'm going to do one. Last week was a general one about how to make decisions from the heart. This is for money. Next week is for health. Following week after that is about happiness. Following week after that is about love. The following week about after it is how to live in a divine existence by knowing all the things that I just told. So get in touch with me. The programs that I do just condense decisions, money, health, happiness, love, divine existence. Those are the six principles that we must increase in our life to live the best life and actually live the life that we're meant to live here on earth from the heart, living God's will, not our wish. Because you wish for, you get it, you're not going to be happy. And consider your life. How many times you wish for something, you got it, and it did, the happiness from it didn't last, and you kept wishing. So unless you align your life with the will of God, you'll never be. And the will of God is for you to grow and contribute to make other people's life better. And that's what I'm doing. I'm in alignment with God. And I want to bring more increase to your life. And I know how. Blessings. Peace and love. Contact me. Let's work together on making you a better version 
so you can contribute and grow and live the law of increase. Thank you and goodbye. My friend, share, like, comment, let me know how can I help you and get in touch with me. Thank you very much. Have a blessed rest of your day and I'll see you next week.